Okay, so we have patient Mr. Ronavirus. He's a seven-year-old male. He came here on the 24th complaining of dyspnea with exertion for four days. He also had per worsening peripheral edema, decreased appetite for four days, nocturnal cough, which caused him not to sleep well, and difficulty walking more than 50 feet due to that shortness of breath. Uh, he is diagnosed with CHF after an x-ray which showed vascular congestion indicative of CHF, and has also had cardiomegaly with enlarged left ventricle borders. Uh, he has a history of hypertension and diabetes, uh, which both could happen uh, and cause that hyper and cause that congestive heart failure. His last set of vitals were uh, 97.2 for the temperatures, so we're looking at that heart rate, which is 84, respirations, which were 16, and blood pressures, which is 108 over 64. Whenever we looked at the lungs, uh, the respirations were definitely labored. There's crackles throughout the lung fields. Uh, the oxygen rate is, they're currently on O2, and uh, it's two liters per nasal cannula, and the last one was uh, 100%. No, it was actually 99%. Uh, the edema is noted both bilateral lower extremities. Uh, it was a three. And then there in the left hand is a 20-gauge saline lock with a transparent dressing, 18-gauge IV to the right hand with transparent dressing, they're both placed on the 24th, which is whenever he was admitted. Uh, he's on all four precaution, fall precautions uh, for activity. He's out of bed to the chair three times a day, and he's ambulating two times a day with assistance. For his diet, he's on a 1,200-calorie uh, ADA and with one gram of sodium. His last labs, his HbA1c was 7.5, so that was elevated. The BNP was 700, so it's also elevated. BUN was 30 and the creatinine was 1.6 we have corrected all the electrolyte imbalances and the hematocrit and hemoglobin uh H cbc cmp hba1c and bnp are due now cmp cbc in the morning we have uh point of care blood glucose with four meals and our ac and hs continuously high from 100 to mid 200s and he's currently on Cater, Lasix, Lisinopril, Lovenox, Metaprolol, Pantoprozol, Humulin, NPH, and Novolog. We're adding Protonics, Ibuprofen, and Norzo to correct the hypertension and the, uh, the diabetes and pain. They're going to continue to monitor the B and the blood glucose over time. So right now we're trying to correct the or help with the CHF with medications. And there's no plan for any surgeries or procedures at this time.